Hey, what's going on guys? In today's video, I'm gonna break down and give you an overview of the Powertech Workbench Lever Gym. This is the WBLS20, and there's a few different changes and additions to our previous models, which I'll get to in just a minute. First off, this is quite possibly the most functional single station home gym workout machine ever created. Starting with these, our independent lever arms, which can safely hold up to 500 pounds. We have both an upper and a lower cable pulley with a ratio of one to one that can hold up to 300 pounds and a fully functional decline flat, multi-incline workbench that can be detached that opens up a whole new range of possibilities on the lever gym. There's also a wide variety of workbench attachments, which I'll get to later on in the video. Finally, some of the new updates. We have these angled stainless steel weight horns capable of working with Olympic plates. And we also offer a one inch horn adapter. So if you have the smaller diameter standard plates, then you can also fit that with these and use those plates. One of the new additions is this. Many different positions to be able to set and lock the lever arms, allowing you to find the perfect position for your height and exercise type. Also the workbench, which I've already mentioned, decline flat and incline and moves on a horizontal plane, which we'll see later on in the video, has many more adjustments. So again, you can set the incline and the bench to the perfect position based on whatever exercise you're doing. And finally, these fixed resistance band pegs allow you to add resistance bands into many of the exercises with the lever arms, opening up a whole new type of training for you to perform. With that being said, let's also take a look at what comes with the workbench lever gym as standard. First off, the squat bar. Now this attaches to either end of the lever gym handles and can be used with or without the bench, both for some close grip chest or tricep exercises. And when the bench is removed, this is great for performing the likes of squats, lunges, and calf raises. This is a tricep press down bar and extension chain, which can be used on the top pulley for the likes of press downs and overhead extensions, as well as on the lower cable pulley for a range of different arm curl exercises and shoulder-based exercises. You also get this handle, which can be used with or without the extension chain, again, on the top pulley or the lower pulley for a range of single arm, shoulder, bicep, and tricep exercises. So the first thing that I wanna share with you before we get into the exercises is how to really set the lever gym up to work best for you, starting with the lever arms. Now there's a number of different setups on the bench, so let's start with that. The first thing you wanna do is make sure that you have the bench in the right position before you start adding weight on. Right here, I can see that I'm a little bit too far forward, so I need to push the bench back and maybe lower the incline down so that the handles are at the right position. Now, of course, I can change the height of the lever arms, but let's start with the bench. There are three different setups. We've got the horizontal back and forth. We've got the lower seat position, which has three setups, and our incline flat and decline, there are nine positions. So let's start by unscrewing and pulling the T-lock bar. Screwing it back in to secure the bench. There are also nine horizontal positions to slide the bench into, but now that I've lowered the incline, that looks about right for me. I'm also gonna change the seat position by pulling out the pin here and choosing the third position. Now, if I go back down, I can see that the handles are right along the center of the chest where I need them to be to perform to really feel that effort on the chest. So with that set up, let's get some weight on and jump right into our first exercise. You can also use these weight support horns down here to store the weights when not in use. Now, that's just one of many incline positions to really change the height at which we can focus on the chest. Now, you can actually adjust the arms if you have a small amount of weight on, but you've got to make sure 
to support both arms like this. Otherwise, I'd recommend taking the weights off before adjusting the lever arm. But if you can comfortably lift the weights like that and take the handle off, change the locking position and lower this down. So now, if I lower the bench down, by unscrewing and pulling the T-bar, I go right back into my set and feel that in a different region of my chest than before. Now, one of the key features of the lever gym are the independently functioning lever arms. And to get to that, all you need to do is remove this top lock bar which you can place in the storage position just behind the machine there. Now that I'm back in position, you'll see that both arms function independently from it, allowing me to perform exercises like this. Now what's great about this is unlike pushing a single weight with both arms, I now have my left and right arm functioning independently, which allows for a whole variety of different exercises and techniques to be performed. Whew. Whew. Okay, so with our chest variations covered, let me show you how we can perform a row on this, starting with the bench. So I'm gonna drop our incline down to a flat. Also adjust our seat pad back down to a flat. With the lever arms, I want to lower this down. So, I'm gonna put our lock bar back in. Again, if you can lift the weights comfortably like this, you can also adjust the weight like this. Otherwise, I definitely make sure that the weights are off. Now with this, I'm gonna remove our lock bar again. It allows me to get a really great, concise back row. working with a variety of different handle positions. And again, really simple and quick and easy. Bring that bench up to give me a more inclined position. Hand on the top. I can use either one of the handles. Now that's just one variety of rows that we can perform using the bench. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, we can also detach the bench, opening up access to the front of the lever gym, and with or without that squat bar on, it allows us to perform a whole new different type of rows, underhand rows, or single arm rows to really maximize the use and exercise variety of the lever gym. But for now, let's have a look at how to set this up for a shoulder press, starting with the bench position. So, that back pin, we're gonna take all the way up to our ninth position. Lock that in. And then with our red handle here, which allows us to control the back and forth position of the bench, I'm gonna slide and lock it all the way back in. Now I just need to come around and bring our lever arms with that lock bar back in all the way up. Now I'm in the ideal position to perform shoulder presses. Again, performing them with both lever arms locked in or taking that lock arm out and performing them independently. You can also perform this facing forwards like this, which given the angle of the lever arms works the shoulder muscle from a slightly different perspective. Now, as I mentioned, one of the new features on the workbench lever gym are the three fixed resistance band pegs down here. So I'm gonna show how we lock these on to really make use of adding bands onto our lever arms. Now with the three resistance band pegs here, the easiest option is simply to loop the band around that front one, hooking it onto our lever arm horn up there. But if you wanna increase the resistance band, I like to do this, pull that under, 
and lock this one around that far peg there. Therefore, we're minimizing the length of the resistance band used and increasing the overall resistance on the arms. So without having added any extra weight, just the resistance bands alone, I can increase the resistance and how the exercise feels with these lever arm exercises. Ooh, big difference there. Big difference just with those resistance bands added. And of course, one of the major benefits of this, it's an easy drop set. I can remove the bands just by taking them off the weight horns and jump right back into my set, now having less resistance than before. Now, before I move on and show the lap pull down and the lower cable pulley, I wanna show you one more variation of the chest or shoulder-based exercise that we can perform with that squat bar added. And then attach the squat bar to the setup that we've got here, making sure that we have that locking pin and that click sound. Now, if I just slide in under, using a much more narrower grip than I could without this lock bar on, I can turn this into a really effective tricep or inner chest exercise. Whew. Again, just showing the full variety and different setups that we can use with the Workbench Lever Gym. Okay, now let's take a look at our lat pull-down feature. Now, even though we can perform the lat pull-down feature with the weights and the lever arms in this position, I'm gonna take them off and place them on the back weight horns here. So we have a total 500 pound weight capacity on the lever arm and up to 300 pounds on our lever arm at the back here. I'm gonna drop our lever arms all the way down and again, change the bench setup into the optimal position, which flat bench, lock that in. And then our thigh pads here, pull this locking pin out, set that into one of three positions. And now I can sit down lock my legs into position with access to the bar. Have a really nice full range of motion with the lat pull down. Working different regions of the back, bringing the biceps into play here. And of course, changing the handle for a variety of different possibilities with different lap hold down bars. And with the lap pull down bar detached, you can also use a variety of different attachments on the top pulley and the lower pulley based on your different preferences and needs for the exercise and your fitness goals. Now, one really particular exercise that I think is great on the workbench lever gym and hard to replicate in many machines within commercial gyms is this, a seated incline overhead tricep extension. Let me show it to you. With our short bar and extension chain, I'm gonna lock that onto our top pulley. Then I'm gonna come around and set up our bench, much like I would for an incline chest press. I'm gonna take the seat up to the third lock position. Now, if I sit down and bring that tricep over, I get a really great isolated tricep exercise, keeping me anchored into the bench with my hips and back firmly pressed against the seat. And by putting my elbows down and keeping the upper arms in that position, oh yeah. Very different feeling in the triceps than if you're performing a standing tricep press down, which we'll get to in just a second. But for now, I wanna give you access to the lower cable pulley. And to get access to that, all we need to do is drop the incline 
all the way down. I'm gonna take our extension chain off from the top and lock that onto our lower cable pulley here, like so. And then I'm just gonna drop our seat back down to a flat, giving me access to a really great seated low row. I can use my heels on the end of the bench here, back straight, and again, isolated and focused on the inner region of the back. Love this one. Overhand variety there. Underhand. And of course, we can change the handle type to either our long lap pull down bar or any number of aftermarket attachments that can be used with the extension chain, both on the lower and the higher cable pulley. Now let's take a look at the number of exercises and setups that we can get on the lever gym after we detach the bench, which is really easy to do. There's simply a single locking pin here that we unscrew, and then we can lift the bench and move the bench out of the way, which also allows us to use the bench as a great standalone bench with all of the attachments and all of the different positions that we had looked at earlier in the video. So, the lever gym without the bench gives us access to a range of different exercises, starting with, again, the lower cable pulley. One of the most obvious ones being a great bicep curl exercise. Also a variety of back rows. At this part in the video, I wanna share with you the low row foot plate. This is an optional extra that works great with the lever gym and it locks right in place where the bench does. Once locked in, this now gives us access to a great foot plate for performing the likes of a seated low row. Now using one of our single handle attachments that come with the lever gym, we can take off our short bar, add this onto our extension chain, allowing me access to some really unique single arm back rows and a variety of other single arm exercises. Now let's use our extension chain Disconnect it from that bottom pulley. If we lock this back into our top pulley, gives us great access to the likes of our tricep press down. Overhead extensions and one of my personal favorite, abdominal crunches with a high cable pulley, like this. Of course, we can also change up the attachment used from our short bar to our single handle or any number of other aftermarket attachments, giving us really great access to things like this. A single arm lap pull down. Right, so now having looked at both of our high and low cable pulley-based exercises, let's end with getting some weight back on the lever arms and showing you how we can really use the lever arm for a variety of deadlifts, rows, squats, and even arm curls. Now that we've got some weight on the lever arms and our squat bar connected, I wanna show with you a few of my favorite exercises that we can do with the squat bar attached starting with some basic shrugs. Now we can perform this both with the bar behind, shrugging like this, working our trapezius, and again, face forwards like this. It also allows us to perform a great variety of back row, such as this. and even some drag curls to work the biceps, like this.
But one of my favorite exercises with the squat bar, as the name suggests, is a squat. So let's set it up for that. Now, usually I like to set the lever arms in a position where I know the weights are at the right height for me to get under and step up into position. But we haven't got too much weight on here for this example, so I'm gonna lift up the lever arms and lock it into position. Again, if you have too much weight on here, I always recommend removing the weight first before adjusting the lever arms. Now that we've got that locked in and we've made sure that our lock pin is securely in as well, we can get into position to perform a number of leg-based exercises. Now, one of the great things about the squat on the lever gym is the angle at which you go down and press up. Because of the lever arms and the pivoting of them, all of that pressure is taken off from my lower back and even my knees and instead placed firmly on my quads, which allows me the perfect position to squat. Hips push back as the weight lowers down. As I drive back into an erect position, the weight comes back up without feeling it on the lower back or the knees. It also means I can go effortlessly into lunges and even some calf raises. Now, a great way to be able to lock that bar in as well as set the position to get under for the squat is simply remove the lock bar, put it into position, allowing me to easily step out from the machine, but also work that inversely. So once I'm under, press that weight up, take that lock bar, lock it down, which gives me the safety I need, but also opening up that full range of motion. And if I've got too much weight on, or I'm pushing my muscles to failure, if I get to the bottom and I'm unable to really lift back up, I can simply lower that bar down and effortlessly and safely exit from the machine without having all of that weight, remember up to 500 pounds, on the lever arm if I'm training at home. So not only easy, versatile, and effective, but also safe, which is key for when we're working out, especially on our own, at home. There's one more setup that I wanna show you. And for this one, I'm gonna take off our lock bar. I'm gonna bring the handles into a high position. And from here, take off our joining lock bar to really bring some cardio into play and hit some alternate shoulder presses like this. That's enough to get anyone's heart rate up. Okay, with that being said, let's have a look at some of the options that we can use with the attachments on our workbench. This is the workbench leg press attachment. And it's a great piece of kit that transforms the workbench or any of the workbench machines, the multi-system, the lever gym, the Olympic bench, the multi-press and the workbench FID utility bench into a really great leg press. So once we have the spinal column locked in, and you can see here the base pretty much comes down to the floor, you wanna make sure that the support leg here is firmly in place. And to do that, remove this yellow T-lock, slide it all the way down and lock it in. Now it's also worth noting that at Powertech, we recommend using at least a quarter inch rubber flooring to really provide a solid foundation for many of the machines. Now I just need to adjust the incline of our bench. Lock that in securely. And also just a preference, the angle of the seat itself. And now just get into position. I find it's easier to press down on the machine, find your foot position. We've got our locking handle here as well, which can limit the range of motion or remove it completely, giving us a full range of motion and a really great isolated quad-based exercise. 
also has a safety lock. So even if we get into a full range of motion and you can no longer press the weight forwards, you can also remove the legs and exit safely without this weight pressing down on you. Let's have a look at the next range of attachments that work with our workbench lever gym. This is the peg fly attachment and it allows us to perform a really great isolated peg fly type movement. First, I'm gonna make sure that the spinal column locks all the way down to the base and we lock our yellow pin in. Next, I'm gonna make sure that we have our seat flat, which I've already adjusted and drop our incline down to a flat. Now, if you find that the thigh pad for my lap pull down happens to be in the way, we can also set that higher or lock it all the way down. In this example, I'm gonna set it a little bit higher, giving me some room to bring my legs further under. Make sure the head is up against the back pad, extend the arms out, elbows slightly bent, and keeping the arms in that fixed position, close it up like you're hugging a tree, bringing the hands together at the top, extending the arms to really feel that deep squeeze in the chest. This is the curl machine attachment, and probably my favorite attachment of all. Four different settings to find the right height, We can also change the height of our pad here from completely upright to so three different positions of decline, giving us a really great isolated preacher curl type exercise. Now, one thing that not many people know about the curl machine attachment is you can actually take off the handle allowing you to use the extension chain from earlier with a single handle or short bar, locking that in, allowing you to perform a whole variety of single arm and different variations of these curl attachments. And this is the leg lift curl attachment, allowing us to get both a leg extension and a hamstring curl type exercise. Now, if you're wondering about the maximum user height for the Workbench Lever Gym and many of the attachments, if you check out the product page at powertech.com for the Workbench Lever Gym, you'll see an image of one of my friends, Diego Sebastian, who at six foot four can still use the Workbench Lever Gym and get a full range of motion, including this, the leg lift curl attachment, which after we get some weight on, I'll show you exactly how it works. So there are three different settings in which to lock the leg lift attachment onto the workbench. Once you've found the right height, you can perform this with a flat bench. But personally, I like to have a bit of an incline. So we're gonna bring this up, lock that in, and also adjust our seat pad height, which for me is just one clip up. Now I can be locked into position, have enough clearance from my feet and the ground and using the handles on the workbench, which can also be left off during assembly. So if you're using the bench as a standalone bench and you want access to perform the likes of dumbbell curls without the handles getting in the way, it's really easy during the assembly. Just leave the handles off and there's additional bolts to attach the seat pad without needing the handles. So with or without, up to you. But with the handles, you can anchor yourself in, get a really great isolated quad dominant exercise for the legs. Also work in single as well. And for the hamstring curl, all we need to do is drop our incline bench back down to a flat and then lay in a prone position, face forwards for a really great hamstring curl exercise. So there we go, the workbench lever gym. One of the most functional single station home gym workout pieces ever created. If you'd like to find out more information about the Workbench Lever Gym, including all the Workbench attachments shown in this video, we'll include all the information, links to our website in the video description below. Also, be sure to check us out on Facebook and Instagram, Powertech Fitness, for more information about exercises, as well as different setups and variety for home gym or light commercial workouts. Again, thanks for watching. Let us know some of the favorite exercises within this video by dropping us a like and also a comment in the description below. And make sure you subscribe with notifications turned on 
so you can catch many of our new and latest videos, both about our machines as well as athletes in our HQ showing you how they work out on PowerTech. Take care.